Okay, let's talk some basketball now because National Champions Police beat prisoners last evening at the GMPI complex in an important game for both teams. Dexter and as well and Ronald Winter both scored 17 points for police in a game that put them in the final Big Six position as we hear from Ian Wilson. The day started with police 7th and prisons 10th and a win for either would place them 6th on the table. OCPS sent prisons ahead with this jumper. But then the national champions police went ahead led by Dexroy Manswell who dominated the key. The Manswell scored 17 points, the same as Ronald Winter, as police were up 21-12 early in the second quarter. A clever pass from Kevin Morris to guess who? Yes, Manswell and the Bego delivered for the 34-18 lead. Steve Maxwell was able to get a steal from Manswell and in the process made it 21-34 still behind by double digits. But on the other end, it was the usual Don Wilkinson driving, but Manswell to clean up. In the fourth quarter, Prisons would go on a 17-7 run led by McKeel Williams, who also scored 17. He came into the game averaging 17.6 points per game, just maintaining his average as the score is now 38-45. Now make that a 19-7 run with Williams on target to make it 40-45 now. But police would arrest the situation. Manswell with the defensive work as well, stopping Shaquille Sylvester. But Williams wasn't intimidated by the big fella, driving past Manswell to put the score 44-48. But in the end, the police held on for a 60-55 win. And more importantly, one foot in the big six. The win puts them in sixth position, and it's now up to them to remain there. The top five teams already confirmed for the Big Six, with Maloney and Petra Jazz leading the park, followed by Defence Force, Shack Attack and the Streaker Nets. Now police's remaining games are against Streaker Nets and the Trailblazers. Although Streaker Nets might be a bit tough, they can fancy a win against the winless Trailblazers. Now Prisons on the other hand have three games remaining, and while one of them is against Streaker Nets, they can be confident of beating the Clippers. And depending on which Shaka Tuck team show up on the day, maybe they can have a chance there also. Now, Brian Chase also have an outside chance, but their games are against Streaker Nets and Defense Force, so they might as well forget about Big Six. On Wednesday, the big clash, call it as you may, is the Red Hot Maloney Pacers versus the near invincible defense force and that's at Pleasantville from 7 p.m. That will be followed by the Petro Jazz and the Clippers. Ian Wason, C Sports.